Fabulous, fabulous Gojira drummer. Fabulous. fabulous. And there's that Bill guy. We're about to have a cooking with Bill. Bill, what is the deal with this thing? It's, it's a, it, these are chemical pants. They have they have two buttons in them, so you can take them off real quick. What are chemical pants? Chemical pants are pants that are like these. They got usually well, this one only has one button because one of the ones fell off. And they're designed to take them so that you can take them off real quick. Yeah. They chemical spill. Oh, if you get some of that nasty chemicals. toxic stuff. I quit doing there. chemicals. You quit doing chemicals? And now. It's the time you've been waiting for once again. The fabulous Chef Bill, once again. Hi, I'm Chef Bill, and I need a knife. Hang on one second. Knife, 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 Good, good, sharp knife for cutting up all of this fabulous stuff. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pre-made veggie burgers. Now get a good look at this veggie burger and hold it up for light. Here we go as we untuck notice notice the well sealed foil here. This is a part of, of, of a way of keeping your unused veggie burgers fresh. And if you can unfold it in such a way you can you use it later, there is your typical veggie burger. Does it not look delicious? What do you think? See? Ken agrees. Ken, who is the drummer of Gojira, by the way. That's me. Now the next thing that we need to have is we need to have a Roma tomato. These are small tiny tomatoes that make Ralph want to throw up. See? Watch this. I'll hold it close to the cameraman and what happens? Isn't that amazing? First, we wash it off. Now, as you know, most vegetables nowadays are irradiated. This way they will stay red, well, at least a tomato will stay red, for at least 50 years. Now, as we take our tomato that is of a, ooh, proof of irradiation. Don't know why it's white inside, but anybody ever read Vanicula? First, we cut this up in such a manner as to create small teeny tiny tomatoes like this. See that? Isn't that amazing? The next thing we do is we take an onion. Onions which are also irradiated. Now I'm here proving to you that you can be a decadent vegetarian at the same time. Now what is, what is one of the things that is a, a basic thing about being decadent? Well, being decadent usually is uh, a, uh, uh, some kind of a, a attempt or, or movement towards not necessarily self-destruction, but decadence, right? It has a risk to it. Now, someone would say that a tomato has no risk to it. But now, with new and improved technology of irradiation, a tomato now does carry a definite risk. 50 years down the line, you could be dying of all manners and types of cancer from this beautifully kept red tomato, red from the irradiation, or the radiation that has been poured down upon the tomato's being. Now, same with onions. Now this is a real risk taker. Onions have a half-life now, I think for about 40 years, due to the fabulous irradiation. Bell peppers. Now, ever wondered how they make yellow bell peppers? These were green once. And due to modern technology and ways of uh, deploring radiation upon our food, we now have nice glowing yellow golden bell peppers. If we had enough light, you'd be able to see the, the or, or actually if, if we put it in darkness, maybe you, you'd be able to probably light up your kitchen with this thing. Isn't that nice? I have to watch this. This is Sarah. Sarah who is not yet irradiated. Or at least Did not any more of than Did anybody else, right? Right. Since this is the Bloodstone Show airing from Cincinnati, we really can't guarantee you that none of the players on the Bloodstone Show are not irradiated. 
we will know in 50 years that they're still around in perfect, well, not perfect health, but in preserved health. Preserved. If they're well-preserved people, they probably will review. Now, we cut these like such, because we want to put them on our vegetable. Now, these are all the things we need to make, but the other thing is that you want to cut out the seeds. I don't know why you want to cut out the seeds. I've just always been told to do that. Maybe and that's where the radiation congregates for the next generation. This is true. This is true. You never know. You know, that's a good point. Has anybody seen uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Biollante? Biollante, when he first started. Now, the next thing we need is bread. Bread has not yet, and as I know, been irradiated. Nature burgers, on the other hand, are made of all sorts of types of irradiated food. Now, what we do is we want to put the bread in here. Now, typically you want to fry these things up in olive oil, which I don't know if it's irradiated or not. And uh, I usually like mine somewhat toasted. So we'll fry the bread up. Ooh, don't want it to be too hot. And cut up some cheese. God knows what they put in the cheese now. Because I don't. Cheese, as you know, is a live organism. Cheese is very much alive. The um, culture that revolves around cheese's daily life is something that is still a mystery. As you know, there have been scientific studies done on certain types of cultured foods like uh, cheese. Yeah, like that Like, what? What'd you say? Hey, shut up. Yo! Now, what we want to do is we want to have cheese melt on the vegetable. That is, that is the plot and the plant. And I need a spatula. Can my helper, Ken, find me a spatula behind you? <laughs> Cat! <laughs> Cat will do fine. Spatula. No, Your head. Spatula is missing. <laughs> Spatulas, to my knowledge, at this point, are not irradiated. Ah, a spatula. This is what we have. This is a spatula here. That's your spatula. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, oh dear. You can't argue with that. Now we want to have it get nice and warm. Have the cheese melt. And pretty much what we want to do is put all this stuff on here. Lettuce. This is this is romaine lettuce. Very nice lettuce. Lettuce from Kroger's. That's where it's from. It's from Kroger's. And let's see, you know, uh, Barry, if you have the right nose for it, you can pick up a lot about the grocery store, including what kind of tax base the grocery store has around it. Ah, students and homeless people. That's what our tax base is made of. Mm -hmm. Well, now what we do is we just tear out. Actually, that's not true. Come to think of it, I don't know many students. Anybody know any students? Rover's a student. He'll be appearing later on, but it's not true. Maybe not this one. Cats. Cats, to my knowledge, yet have not been irradiated. But I don't know. We do have a microwave over there. And sometime, maybe, if uh, Maggie is willing, we can possibly demonstrate home irradiation and how you can preserve things around your home in such a way as to make sure that they last and last and last and have a nice long shelf life. Now, is this done yet? It's sorted. What does it look like anyway? That's good. Now what you want to do is you want to grab your condiments. Condiments, like mustard and mayonnaise, imported French mustard. These condiments are condiments. I don't know if condiments are ready. You take your post-cooked but freshly warmed nature burger and you put in it your mayonnaise, 
how much you use in your meal. I just like that. Is that right? It's good for your cholesterol count. Good for your, oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, and then we put on our mustard. Isn't that nice? And then we put on the lids. But not in the sandwich. You should get your iron from another source, not from this. Easy, like such. We are now building the foundations of our nature group. This is very important. People go to school for years to learn how to become an architect. Not build. Real nature group. Onions. Now, the onion thanks to nature, has a nice Romanesque type arch that you can hook on or lay over places of the nature group. These are sort of the buttresses that hold up the nature group. That is mostly what an onion is used for, except for this protein. They won't use that. And I'm not going to tell you why. You put the onion in its Romanesque form on top of the nature burner, hooking in there like such. Lettuce. Lettuce has a very roofing quality. As a matter of fact, maybe not quite a roofing quality, but, but it, it kind of reminds me of, of possibly insulation to keep uh, the rest of the sandwich from becoming too warm from the cheese. And then we put on top of it. That is how you make an inch burger. And that was cooking with all for your consideration. Mm. The radiation is very good for that yesterday. I don't feel nauseous at all. Mm.